Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and we are playing some Plunder Pirates. That's right, guys. We are moving up pretty well. Um, I actually just got attacked, uh, but we can go right over here on the left side into our log and see our defense log, and I didn't even realize this, but I've been attacked a whole bunch of times, and I've only lost once. Uh, it's probably because a lot of the people that are attacking me are new to the game, uh, but hey, I didn't even know that I was doing that well. So we've got a lot of gold, we've got a lot of grog um, that we can use, and I'm thinking that we should go in here and build this up. So we're just going to build it. We don't have enough grog for it yet. Um, well, wait. Uh, all right. So I have troops trained. So if we if we use our gems over there on this, then we'll be fine because we'll still be able to attack. So. Let's go ahead and accept this and uh, use that extra grog. So what we can do with this voodoo hut is this is where um, the spells happen. The mysterious spells. It says the voodoo academy is a good start um, uh, to learn magic and spells. Uh, so build one and give your pirate crew a magical edge. As you upgrade more purveyors of magic will be attracted to your island. So we'll see what that means. Uh, I feel like it means troops like... Uh, Maybe it's not spells. Maybe we just get magical troops or something like voodoo troops or something like that. So that could be pretty cool. Um, we've got three more builders left. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of gold. Uh, so let's see if we can. So I don't think we can upgrade our cannon. Uh, we can't. We need to upgrade our pirate, our pirate hall is what we need to do. Uh, but I guess we should... I don't know if we should max out first. I'm not sure if there is a, uh, a penalty or anything like that in this game. I guess I need to look that up. Um, but why don't we actually... Can we upgrade these? Uh, upgrade not allowed to a pirate hall level 5. Alright, so those are level 7. All of these are level 8 almost. So let's go ahead and upgrade these. So we'll upgrade 1, uh, 2. So upgrade 2 of those. Let's go attack um, while we're at it. We'll do we'll do a multiplayer attack, yay multiplayer attack, and see how we can do. We're not gonna attack that one, but I have a new strategy that I'm using that I think is working pretty well. Um, I can show it to you guys on this uh, on this map right here. It's not a bad amount of loot, so we'll go ahead and fight this guy. Uh, what I do is I use uh, a whole bunch of the brutes and then a bunch of these bomber guys. One, one, two, three, four, um, and then we'll spread out some of the gunners around as well. Uh, we'll drop off another brute up here, and then another bomber up there. And we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, the gunner's ability. Why can't I use it? Oh, so we'll go ahead and use the gunner's ability right there, and give them a little bit extra damage. Uh, the bombers are working their way in, doing some work. The Brutes are working on the cannons as well, <clears throat> causing a good amount of damage to them. And once we get those cannons out of the way, then we should be good to go. There's one more cannon right there. We got two of our Brutes heading over to him. You can see the path that the, uh, that the Brutes or the characters take. They walk along the buildings. Why am I out of focus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they walk along the buildings. Um, and uh, it's pretty interesting. But you can see uh, the Bombers are a little unpredictable. They just run around. They blow up walls, but they also throw bombs at stuff. We're going to use our gunner's ability again. Um, and we should be able to take out the pirate hall. We might even be able to take out a little bit more. But I'm super excited about learning the like the AI of the characters in this. Uh, learning all the characters. Learning their names and not mixing them up with clash names or anything like this. Because I really do think that this game is going to be pretty big. Um, especially with... The quality that Madoki, Madoki is the company that made it, Rovio supporting them and uh, kind of sponsoring them, if you will, putting their name on it. So uh, it's a great, great game. It's a lot of fun and the graphics are what makes it like, look at this. So while these gunners are attacking, I can do this. Like that's crazy to me that while they're shooting, oh, there's a, why is that brute attacking that? Isn't that ship still up? The brute's attacking the town hall. Uh, <laughs> so while they're attacking, I can scroll around them. Look, we can see the smoke. We can see the fire. We can see everything while they're attacking, which is crazy because that adds a whole aspect of motion to it. I hope that we get this. Come on, Gunners, take it out. It's pretty cool that each troop has its own special ability, too. It's kind of like what you get in other games or FPSs and stuff like that where you have, like, 
an ability. Um, I've been playing Destiny and there are abilities and that. Ugh, I'm tired. I need to go get my coffee. But um, it's pretty cool. We're about to take down the Pirate Hall right there. All right, there we go. So we've got 50 per 63%. So we've got two stars on it. We still need to get a bunch of that loot. I should have brought in some, uh, some of the ninja girls. Looks like we're going to miss out on a lot of the gold in the back, but... That's fine. Uh, we're still learning the game, still learning how it works. I love the Brutes. The Brutes mm -hmm. are awesome. The Bombers are pretty sweet, too. Uh, I'm getting blown up this morning. Uh, but <laughs> the Bombers are pretty cool. I'm getting blown up this morning. I didn't mean to do that. That's a little fun there for you. <laughs> uh, so we got plus six right there. Pirate rank went up. 67% uh, battle points, etc. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing good. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and recruit. This is what I always end my uh, my attacks with. Let's get five of these guys and let's do all bombers. Let's do ten bombers and then we'll throw in uh, five gunners. We'll go ahead and finish those as well. And this is one of the cooler things about the game that I really like. When you go to explore, well we do have one more. What should we upgrade? We have one more freaking builder's hut. I want to upgrade the bunker because that thing's gnarly. The bunker does a bunch of damage. Uh, let's go ahead. Can we upgrade the tavern? No. What can we upgrade? The guild hall? Uh, maybe. Upgrade cross? Let's just upgrade that. All right. So we're upgrading the guild hall. Now we're going to go plunder. We're going to go explore the seas. So this is cool. Uh, a, because when you zoom out, you can see that it's on a table with some freaking sweet ornaments and stuff around it. There's a quill pen right there with an octopus. There's some gold. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to explore after we select all this stuff. And it's cool because you can go through um, bad guys. So I'm going to come straight up here, go right through this guy, and then we're going to battle this one as well. Uh, and yeah, so it's going to take, take two hours, so you got to be prepared to leave it alone but you just set sail right there and in two hours I'm gonna have defeated both of those guys and explored some more of the map it's a really cool aspect of the game that you can choose where you go and whatnot um, I'm loving it it's pretty sweet I definitely definitely like this game a lot um, but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode guys I hope that y'all enjoyed Plunder Pirates I will see you next time on another episode uh, comment down below what other games you want to see me play on this channel uh, this is definitely gonna be one of the main ones and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. As always, make sure you keep calm and play on, all right? See ya. Peace.